What's up, it's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're back at the Detroit Auto Show, Return to Motor City, hot on the heels of their big press launch last night. I am here with that special surprise that they even shocked us automotive journalists. This is it, this is your totally redesigned 2024 Mustang GT, but this is the one that brings that extra V8 goodness, extra track performance. This is the all new first time ever dark horse. But before we get into this pumped up muscle of a pony car, let's talk about what's going on here. The Mustang, it's been around since 1964 and a half, has gone through production undisrupted. And what's nice is, is that even though over the years, the size of the Mustang has changed, sometimes some of the years, the horsepower went down the drain, but Mustang has been on a rampage, a stampede of sorts, because they have been bringing performance each and every year. I remember being back in high school, the Fox body Mustangs, those five liter engines pumping the horsepower. Well, guess what? With this S650 platform, we see a new generation, but we're seeing also new technology and even more horsepower, because guess what? This is the most powerful Coyote V8 engine ever. Now, Ford is no person to mess around with when it comes to overall performance, and they know what to do. So what I wanna find out is, is this dark horse, that special power trim, is this better than the current Mach 1? And also, is it a better muscle car than the Chevrolet Camaro? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this dark horse, see what's different, and see if this is that powerhouse that you wanna be parking in your garage. Let's go ahead and find out. Right off the bat, the shape. We already brought to you the GT Performance Pack, and you guys watched the heck out of that review, and we thank you for that. With this dark horse, just like the EcoBoost, it has a different look at the front, and it's not just a different grill trim, it's actually a changed up front fascia. So at the front of the business, with the S650, you are getting those LED tri bars across the top. Let me know how you feel about those. I know there's been some chatter, some people don't like the way it runs across the top, but the good news is you got those projector beam LED headlights. On the dark horse, here's some of those changes. Instead of having all body color matching material at the front fascia, we have this flat gray. I actually like it better than flat black, and it definitely looks better than gloss black. Gloss black could get a little heavy when you have too much on the front end, and plus over time, it doesn't tend to wear very well, especially if you're using it as your daily driver. But definitely with that flat gray finish, Lower portion does have a little bit of gloss black, but what I'm very happy to say is they enlarge those corner air intakes. So the Mustang GT performance pack that we already showed you has a smaller corner air intake and it only has one that's open. This is gonna be open on both ends. You got those extra heat exchangers, just like the Mach 1, there's extra cooling. So you have a larger radiator, you have your engine oil cooler. So they're really looking at performance, including a differential cooler. As we kind of coast across the front, I think with this new generation, I'm loving the dark horse, not just because it's all about performance, but look how massive those air intakes are on both sides of that iconic grill, easily fit a baseball in there. So definitely be careful you're not driving by any baseball stadiums in your dark horse. We have that nice dark flat satin gray finish on the pony, that iconic badge full functionality up top, and then as we drop down, we also have functionality on the bottom as well. What's great is you're gonna get a larger splitter. So remember, the whole part of a splitter is to stop air from going underneath the front of the Mustang. We wanna get downforce, and of course, we need to channel all that air to all the heat exchangers. Now, as we rise up onto the hood, check out what we got going on here. You have your satin flat black stripes, with a little bit of gloss, we have that same heat extractor. So same heat extractor from the Mustang GT Performance Pack, but with those satin stripes, it's definitely gonna give you a look where you're gonna stand out from the rest of the horses in the stable. Now, as we come around, when it comes to performance, like I was saying, that Coyote 5 liter V8, we're talking about 500 horsepower. In your Mustang GT, you're looking about 480 horsepower. If you're comparing that to the current Mustang. Remember, the horsepower actually went down for the 2022 Mustang GT to 450 horsepower. But as we come around the bend, besides horsepower performance, we have wheels, tires, and braking performance. So what you're going to find are these 19-inch 
forged wheels, love the split spoke design. What's interesting is if you notice, they switched to Pirelli P0 Trofeo RS tires from the Michelin Cup 2 tires. Very interesting to find out why they did that. I personally love the Cup 2 tires. Very good track day tire, but also usable on the road. You'll notice that massive, pizza-sized rotor. We're talking over 16 inches in diameter, and then those Brembo calipers, six piston with that wonderful differentiation of color. I think that's one of the new touches I like to the whole Mustang lineup, is they're taking a page from Porsche, they're now taking a page from the C8 Corvette where you could personalize your Mustang more straight from the factory than ever before. Of course, we have that Magna Ride suspension. It's gonna read the road, fine tune the compression and rebound damping, whether you're driving it to work, taking the kids to school, or getting onto the racetrack. But really just love, when Ford does a vehicle from the factory, it just sits right, and you'll notice how you have actually some flat black area that extends out to try to tuck those wider wheels and tires in. Because what you're looking at up front are 305s. 305s up front, 30 series sidewall, and it's a 19 inch wheel. Now, as we come down the side, I'm gonna have Lori kind of slide on up. You can actually see where it says Mustang Dark Horse in that satin black stripe with the gloss stripe. I kind of like that balance, especially with the gloss black heat extractor to drag that hot air so we're not robbing horsepower from that Coyote 5 liter V8. Instead of a 5 liter badge, we got the all new Dark Horse badge. So this is gonna be that more performance track oriented car for the S650 Mustang. If you're looking at an S550 right now, this would be more like the Mach 1 because great news is, hashtag save the manuals, you get that Tremec six speed manual. It goes right through each gear like a hot knife through butter and you got that most powerful Coyote V8. Now, as we slide down, you got the dark gray finish on the mirror caps. They did really put a heavy tint on the windows. They don't want us to see inside this particular one, but we already showed you the inside the Mustang GT. So if you haven't seen that one, make sure you've seen it. We already have over half a million views in just nine hours on that video. So make sure you check that out. On the lower portion, you could see the interpretation of that side sill. I like the way they kind of bring it out at the back and flare it out because one of the things that they did successfully with this new Mustang is they actually lowered the belt line. What that does is on the back portion, it gives you that nice muscular haunch. And then of course, if we have wider fenders out back, we're gonna have wider tires. So out back, you're still getting those massive Brembo calipers, four piston calipers. So you're getting the performance calipers front and rear. And then if you notice out back, you're gonna get 315s. So just like on my Shelby GT 350R, 315s out back, it's like steamrollers out back. For the first time on a Mustang, remember we have that other caliper there. That's gonna be for the electric drift brake system. And then get ready for this because as we swing it around, I'm really telling you, I know there's been a lot of chatter of what the rear end looks like on this car. Wait until you see it in person. It kind of all comes together. The way that line comes off the fender and then extends past something unique. You're not gonna confuse this with an S550. And I think it was smart for this to be more of an evolution rather than a revolution right now, especially with Dodge eliminating their Challenger and Charger internal combustion engines for model year 2023. After that, you're going EV. And of course, we're still wondering the Chevrolet Camaro getting killed off after 2023. But on the back end of the business, you'll notice this beefed up wing. It's kind of like they took the Mustang GT Performance Pack wing and blended it with this extra large top section where you have these nice kickups, give you the downforce. I love this vapor color, sparkles under the show lights just perfectly. Dark horse badge at the back end, 373 gears, just like before in that differential. We got larger exhaust tips. Look how massive those tips are, slash cut, oval opening. They're even staggered, and of course they're functional. You know, we live in a day and age where some brands are putting fake exhausts on cars. Nice to keep it real, and that's my favorite part about the new Mustang, is that it's that traditional, true V8-powered machine. I love the rear diffuser area, and then of course, seeing the whole width of this car. It, it's not wider than the S550, but the way that they shaped it, the way that they carved it, it actually gives the interpretation of it being wider. And like I said, we may not be able to get into this dark horse, 
check out my review. I'll leave the link at the end of this one for the S650 Mustang GT Performance Pack. We got all new technology inside, lots of new infotainment system, digital dash, the whole nine yards. And what's great is it's easier to get into the things like line lock, launch control. You still got the 10 speed automatic. And I think that's gonna be one of the good things that people like about the dark horse is you could still get the 10 speed automatic. But of course, where I'm going is that Tremec, not the gear track, the Tremec six speed manual transmission, really just a perfect sweetheart of a gearbox. But let me know what you think. Has Ford struck muscle car gold with this new S650 Mustang. What do you think they should have changed that they didn't for you? Or maybe they changed in the wrong direction. Let me know in that comment section. Let me know if you'd rather go. Right now, There's a, I'll have Lori kind of pan. There's a Mach 1 sitting right there. You could go to your dealership. You could buy that right now. Would you go Mach 1? Or are you going to go with this new dark horse with that extra horsepower, with the extra performance, and the all new look and technology? Let me know in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We definitely got to give it up to the muscle behind the lens, LG Rady. Follow her on Instagram, Lori Rady. It's that simple. She posts some amazing pictures and has such an eye for detail. That's why we love her camera work. Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for being the best in the biz. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.